Hi, Scott with FDJTool.com, and I have here the 4-inch guillotine shear from Pepe. It's an incredibly handy tool, really easy to use, and a must for anybody that does any kind of fabrication work at their bench. And here's why. When you've got a piece of metal and you want to get a nice, crisp, clean cut on it, the guillotine shear is definitely the tool you want to use. Because the way it works, just like its namesake, the guillotine, when it slices through metal, the blade goes straight down, giving a nice, crisp, clean cut without deforming the metal. If you've ever used a bench shear, when you pull back that handle, the blade slices through the metal and can cause it to curl, much like hand shears. When it slices through metal, like so, notice my piece of metal just curls up like that. And a lot of times that's just not helpful when you're trying to get a job done. But with a guillotine shear, you don't have that problem. And how does it work? Well, it's real simple. You're going to take your piece of metal and you're going to place it on the support platform that's right on one side of the machine. It holds up pieces up to four inches wide because that's the width of the cutting blade. Holds them nice and straight up against this guide so that you can make sure you get a nice perpendicular cut. On the other side, you've got your measuring gauge, which you can adjust from zero up to four inches, but you also have a gauge in centimeters in case you want to use metric. Simply loosen the screw and set it to where you want it to be. I'm going to go with one inch pieces and I use this back, the back of the guide and line it up with the one inch mark, tighten it down, and we're ready to go. My metal's up against my guide bar. I simply feed it underneath this finger guard here that keeps my fingers from getting close to the blade, like that. I feel the resistance when it reaches the measuring guide, so I know I'm at one inch. Simply pull the handle back and cut. And just that quickly, whoop, there it is. I've cut a one inch piece effortlessly. No deformation and nice crisp clean cuts. And I can do that over and over and over and over again and get exact cuts every single time. I defy you to do that with a saw that quickly. But that's not where the four inch stops in its usefulness? No sir. By simply taking the gu this guide and unscrewing it, you can move it to these markings that are on the platform here to different degrees if you need to cut something at an angle. It's got pre-marked at 0, 15, 30, and 45 degrees. Common angles that you might be useful in making something. I'm going to move mine all the way to 30 degrees and simply tighten down my guide there so now I can cut pieces up to two inches thick at that particular angle. Simply again put my piece up against the guide bar, slide it through, and cut. And I've just cut a beautiful 30 degree angle on my piece of metal effortlessly and with no deformation. You want to get fancy and use a protractor and find out different angles, be my guess, because it's definitely a useful piece to have. And unscrew it, move it back to straight, because I'm going to get to cutting some metal with the 4 inch Pepe guillotine shear, because it is one handy tool to have. And my name is Scott with FDJTool.com.